What's up, hungry people? It's Saba, and I am here to show you how to make babka. If you have never had babka, it is like the most delicious sweet bread. Here in New York, there's this bakery called Bread's Bakery that makes the most incredible chocolate babka. Today we're making cinnamon babka, but if you are looking for a chocolate babka recipe, I actually have one and I will leave the link to that in the description box below. But back to the cinnamon babka. It turns out so amazing. It is perfect for the holidays or any sort of celebration. It is just light and fluffy and you just wanna pull it apart and eat the whole thing, though you shouldn't. Or maybe you should. Share it with your family and friends. I am sure you'll love it. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is in the bowl of a stand mixer, I have some milk. To this, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar and some yeast. This. Give a little stir. So what we're doing now is we're activating the yeast. You wanna make sure that your yeast is alive before you bake a bread. You spend a couple hours, and if your yeast is dead, that means your bread won't rise. And we're gonna give this about five minutes to kind of do its thing, make sure it gets all nice and bubbly, and then we'll keep on moving. Now that our yeast mixture is looking nice and foamy, I'm gonna add in half a cup of flour and stir it up to mix. Might need to switch to a whisk here to try to get out some of those lumps. So that looks pretty smooth. And what we're gonna do is just let this sit for another 15 to 20 minutes and you'll see it get fluffier and grow in size. All right, so I don't know if you can see, but this mixture has gotten fluffier and kind of risen, domed a little bit. So into here, I'm gonna add the rest of my sugar, two eggs, next in, will be some nutmeg, a splash of vanilla, some salt, and melted butter. Now I'm gonna put on my bread attachment and start to mix. Just give that a quick mix and I'll start adding in flour half a cup at a time. So that's one half cup. And we're just gonna keep adding in flour in half cup additions until we've added in two and a quarter cups of flour. All right, so now that all the flour is incorporated, we're just gonna let this knead for another five minutes. So now here we are. You see that stretch? You see how the dough pulls and those like long strings that you can see in there? That's what we're looking for. You can see how this stretches and pulls. That's what we're looking for. It is still a little sticky, but we're gonna remedy that right now. So you wanna work on a nice clean surface and what we're gonna do is spread out some flour and scrape all this dough onto the table. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more flour and I'm just gonna knead this until it's not sticky. So to me, this looks pretty good. It's not sticking to my hands anymore and it's come together into a nice ball. So into this bowl, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil and then my dough is going right in there. And I just wanna coat the dough in oil to make sure it doesn't stick. This I'm gonna cover with saran wrap, and again, we're gonna let this rise for one to two hours until it's doubled in size. I'll show you it when we're there. While our dough is rising, let's make the streusel and the cinnamon filling. So in the bowl, I have one stick of butter. To this, I'm gonna add one and a half cups of brown sugar a pinch of salt, one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of nutmeg. Your butter, you want it to be at room temperature so that you can mix this all together. If you've ever seen the Seinfeld babka episode, you know that cinnamon is the king of babkas. Oop, and I almost forgot to add the flour. Two tablespoons of flour. You know what, if your hands are clean, it might just be easier to go in with your hands. Just like that. Next up is the streusel. Also very simple. In with some butter, we're gonna add powdered sugar, flour, and as always, a nice pinch of salt. Use a fork to mash it all up. Honestly, again, it might be easier if you just go in with your hands, but then this might happen. Now that this has come together, it's good to go, and we're also gonna set this to the side. All right, so as you can see, my dough has risen a ton. I am going to, woo, punch it down. Just kind of press it down. We'll put just a smidge of flour and I'm going to cut this in half. This can sit right there while we work with this piece, which we are going to roll into a big rectangle. So while you work, you can also just kind of pull the corners, pull the edges to make sure that you're getting a nice, even-ish rectangle. This is looking pretty good to me. 
Then you wanna take our cinnamon sugar mixture and spread a nice thin layer going from edge to edge from the very top to about half an inch from the bottom. That looks quite beautiful. Now, starting at this end, we're gonna very tightly roll up towards us. When you get to the bottom here, make sure it's nice and closed. Now what I'm gonna do is take a serrated knife and just slice down the center of this. And what I like to do, because a lot of times one side is thicker than the other, is I like to kind of flip one side around and then you're gonna create an X. And what we're gonna do is twist the two strands of dough over each other, making sure that the cinnamon side is up and pinching the ends closed. Do it to one side and then do it to the other. You can see that this is definitely longer than our pan. What we're gonna do is kind of squish it together so it's nice and full like that and then quickly and carefully transfer. So, next. Now these two buttes are gonna get our streusel topping. On top of this, some saran wrap, and I'm just gonna let it sit here and rise for another 30 to 45 minutes until you see it fill up the pan, and it should have not doubled, but definitely gotten bigger. Don't forget to preheat the oven while you're waiting for your babkas to rise, but my babkas have risen. And you can see here, I just put it on a little cookie tray so that it makes it really easy to put in and take out of the oven. These are gonna go into a hot 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. While the babkas are baking, we're gonna make a sugar syrup that we brush on top of them when they come out of the oven to make sure that that crust and that crumble is really nice and beautiful, shiny, golden. So in here, I have two thirds cup of sugar and I will add one third cup of water. And we just wanna bring this to a bubble until all that sugar has been melted. So now you can see this is bubbling and I don't know if you can tell, but there's no sugar left on the bottom. This, I'm just gonna let sit until the babkas come out of the oven. Oh my gosh, look at these incredible babkas. This is another reason that you wanna put a tray down underneath these so that you don't get cinnamon sugar mixture all over the bottom of your oven. Once these come out of the oven, you immediately wanna brush them with this sugar syrup. And if you have extra sugar syrup, you can keep this to make drinks. This is literally just simple syrup, which I saw being sold for like $10 a bottle in Brooklyn. Sugar and water, simple syrup. Make yourself a nice cocktail while you wait. One thing that I will recommend is that while these are so warm, it doesn't have to be when they're super hot, but while they're warm, kind of try to pry up the edges of them so that they don't get stuck in the pan. So the babka is cooled. Let me show you. You see that? Honestly, I might have OD'd on the filling, but I hate a dry babka. So let's see how this tastes. Look at that. I'm just gonna go in for a big bite. Here we go. I did not overdo it. Oh my God. Cinnamon roll on crack. It is so soft and fluffy and cinnamony. You can see that the sugar and the butter caramelized perfectly on this. Delicious, cinnamony, perfect for fall. If you're still here, Thank you so much for watching my babka video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video. See you next time.